Hi, this is Landon Bryce with ThoughtCast.com, and this video is actually for Anil Kappa. Um, dear Mr. Kappa, hi. First of all, um, I've been watching uh, the trial for your friend, your good family friend, Darun Ravi, who you refer to as being like a little brother to you. Um, and who you were concerned uh, about getting into an Ivy League college. Um, I also read your comments in the New Yorker article. Um, I know that you're aware of the things that Darun said about his roommate, Tyler Clementi. Um, so I'd like to answer your question. Um, when you were on the stand, the prosecuting attorney uh, asked you, well, did you ever discuss homosexuality with Darun? And your response to that was a somewhat shocked and offended, why would that come up? I'd like to answer that question. It would have been really good if that word had come up. That should have come up. You should, if you regard Darun as your little brother, have taught him that gay people deserve respect, that gay people are people like him. You should have played an active role in making sure that he was ready. If you wanted him to go to an Ivy League college, you should have found out what an Ivy League college is and known that he was going to be dealing with people who were significantly different from himself and expected to treat them with respect and courtesy. Um, that, that you have had a, an, a year and a half knowing that your little brother played a role in someone's suicide, whether or not, I don't, not meaning to say he should be considered entirely culpable, but there is no doubt in anyone's mind, maybe yours, <laughs> that the fact that he spied on his roommate, that he broadcast his sexual orientation, he humiliated, that, that he treated him in a way that was incredibly unkind. And even if that wasn't the primary factor in Tyler's suicide, certainly it was a factor. And certainly, if you had had a conversation with Darun in which you told him that you expected him to treat gay people with respect. Certainly, by the way, um, the other thing that you told us all, right, when you said, why would that come up, is that Darun grew up in a, in, a, in a, you didn't have any gay friends. You didn't consider it part of Darun's education as somebody who was going to go on to college in the United States, that you needed to know some gay people and maybe introduce them to him. Number one, you failed Darun by not having serious conversations with him about treating everyone with respect. Oh, and by the way, you know, it's very likely, considering um, Darun's dis the extent of Darun's discomfort, his obsession with Tyler's sexuality, that Darun himself is gay, right? Because people who act in this way, the people who are most homophobic, most targeted on gay people, most uncomfortable with gay people, tend to be gay themselves. Now... Think about, that is another reason why you should have had a conversation with your little brother who taught you to rollerblade and who is into break dancing. Pretty gay. Um, you should have had a conversation with him, letting him know that if he were gay, that would be okay. Mr. Kappa, if your relationship with Darun is as you say, there's blood on your hands. You, by not teaching Darun that gay people are people, played a role in his death, in, in Tyler Clementi's death. And that in a year and a half, that has never occurred to you. That you're still thinking, why would I ever have talked about homosexuality to Darun? because he was so freaked out about the idea of somebody being gay that he acted in an incredibly cruel and thoughtless manner, which may have contributed to someone's death. That is why you should have talked 
to Darun about gay people, about homosexuality. That's why it would have come up if, Mr. Kappa, you were a halfway decent human being.